This is Abby from the Ohio Energy Project, and today we're going to explain how to create and uh, build the tower for Kidwin. So we're going to be creating something, of course, that looks like this, and I'm going to show you how to do the base. The first thing you do is you're going to grab the bottom of the blue base and then the feet, and you just clip them into place. So they're just going to slide in and click. So the next thing we're going to be doing is building the nacelle and the top part of the tower. So to build the nacelle, what you're going to do is use your three pieces of PVC pipe. So I'm going to grab these, the smaller piece, put it in. The next piece I'm going to fit into place. The nacelle is what holds your motor for the top part of the tower. So will feed the motor through. You're going to feed the wires through the back. So they're going to come out the back end like so. And so we already have it started for you, but what we would recommend is getting tape to make this motor fit a little more snug. You want it as snug as possible. So we've started it for you. You can use masking tape, duct tape. So just kind of fit it around the motor. And then once it is in, make sure it fits nice and snug into that PVC pipe. Then you're going to take your tower, put it in the bottom of the nacelle and then with the blue piece put it at the end of the tower and then pop it directly into your base. Okay so you're going to take the wires that come from the motor and you're going to wrap them around the tower. We're going to do this so they don't get kind of caught up in that blade. So we want it at the back end. The leads are going to be facing the back end of the tower and it's good to just tape it down. We want some of these leads to be kind of hanging off of the tower so that we can make that connection. So when you get your wires, you will see that they will need to be stripped similar to how the black one has been stripped, so simply just strip them. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to attach our alligator clips. So with one alligator clip, we're just gonna to touch the wire, grab the other one, attach it to the wire, What we are measuring is the voltage across the resistor. So now we're gonna work with a digital multimeter. What we're gonna be doing first is we're just gonna be checking. Um, we've got our off and on switch here, and then we're gonna be staying in this up, upper left window. We're gonna be looking at the DCV, which stands for your direct current voltage. What you would want to have your students do is stay on the 2000 millivolts this is gonna give you the best accuracy for your um, design. So the next thing you're going to do is take your black and red um, jacks and you are going to put the black one into the COM, which stands for common. The next thing that you're going to do is you're gonna take your red jack and you're gonna put it in the one right above it, which has the V for volts. And then of course for the resistor, the ohms, and plug that one in. Next thing you could do is turn on your digital multimeter. We're going to move on to the beginning of testing. So a student would come and take their design that's on the hub and put the hub onto the motor. So we've kind of explained and, and demonstrated that for you. A good rule of thumb is that the hub should be, the center of the hub 
should be at the center of the fan. So you want to make sure also that your students know the distance between the fan and the hub. They will need to record that on the wind speed chart. Also before you begin, it's very important to make sure that your fan is secure. So we have the multimeter hooked up and if you're seeing, we're touching the probes to the resistor and we're seeing a reading. Right now, you're going to be recording the highest number that you see. We're looking at the multimeter and seeing that it's negative. That's just due to the polarity. So we simply switch the probes. You will see that similar number, but now in positive. We are in millivolts reading this. Your students will need to convert it to volts. Of course, just dividing by 1,000. 